As a single mom who co-parents, I just want to give my two pence on this whole Morgan situation. I left my daughter's dad for two reasons. The first being that I did not want her to look at our relationship and use that as a foundation for her future relationships. I did not want her to see our relationship as some, as some sort of, as something for her to aspire to. Like if I asked myself this question, if she was to present this relationship to me in 10 years time as her relationship, would I be happy for her? No, I would not be happy for her. I would be devastated. If I was by myself and I didn't have her, I definitely would have stayed in that relationship a lot longer than I did because I certainly did not have any standards for myself but I had standards for her I did not want her to do as I did and especially with the parent and child dynamic your children are going to do as you do they are not going to do as you say they are going to do the things that they see you do they don't care about what you're saying you can tell them to do all these things that are great for them but at the end of the day they are going to look at you and see if you are mirroring those things that you are saying to them in your actions and if you're not why should i do it if you're not even doing it i no longer wanted to be with someone that i was raising alongside my child because that's what it started to feel like i st it started to feel very much that i was a single mom in a relationship and i thought to myself if i'm gonna be a single mom let me at least be a single mom with my full chest so i said i'm out of here so and another thing that i relate to her and i feel really really sad about her situation this man is only entertaining the child because he is now on good terms with the mum. and this happens so much within co-parenting but when dads are not good with you they will not be good with your child like when they're not feeling happy with you they are going to weaponize their help as a dad in order to hurt and i feel like this is something that is happening with morgan he is now happy with her he is now okay with her so he is extending fatherly duties to their child and i think it's sad that this is the standard of fatherhood that morgan is showing to her child i hope that i'm wrong genuinely i hope that i'm wrong but i feel like this is genuinely the, the sort of fatherhood that a lot of single moms extend to their kids because they don't want their kids to miss out on some sort of fatherly love some sort of fatherly presence but i just said no like love that her dad gives her is in any way or shape connected to how he feels about me i just don't think that that is something that a child should feel your relationship with your dad should be your relationship with your dad and it should not be linked with me in any shape or form so i don't know like the, the whole situation is just giving mess. It's not it's not giving vibes. It's just really not. Um, but yeah, that's my two pence. I'm not entirely sure about the Morgan situation or who it is about, but her personal view on it is what stood out to me. This is why a lot of people really put a lot of blame towards the single moms because she rather break the relationship she had with the child's father as it's not something she wants her daughter to normalize but that mentality is what you should have had before you slept with that man you should have already knew in your mind what type of relationship you wanted you should have vetted him enough to have a clear outcome of the relationship you have and if it isn't straightforward then that is already a clear indication you shouldn't proceed to be intimate with this man. Everything you want now for your child, you should have wanted before having a child. She thinks now her actions is the most impactful thing. Everyone's past isn't just important when it comes to romantically getting to know someone. It's just as important when you have children. Because you all think your past don't matter, but you will see it appear in different places in your children's life the older they get. And that's when it will hit you. That's when it will dawn on you. How children will mirror everything you do, even the things you stopped doing. It will be mirrored in their future adulthood. What people seem to forget is your child is another photographic physical DNA of you. A makeup of all your good and bad habits. And what these females don't seem to want to take accountability of, the fact you have more bad habits than good. What she thinks she's doing, like many other single moms think they can do, which cannot be done, is damage control. 
the damage was done not after you got pregnant not between you and the dad's relationship it was already ruined from when you made all the wrong choices again and again she actually doesn't care and nor did she ever care prior to the child's existence how her choices is going to affect that child at this point it's not about how single moms feel about him it's not it will never be about how single moms feel and that's something females will always find it hard to accept their mind is wired to be selfish so much she believes her relationship with the dad won't affect the child which is probably the biggest lie why would she tell herself that because she wants permission to do as she pleases without taking any accountability and all she's doing now is validating her poor choices that will mess her child's life up more i'm your hostess reminent princess these are my last thoughts a lot of these single moms they never want to admit that this whole new standard, this whole new way of life that you want to live, it should have been lived before you was intimate with this man. It should have been lived when you first started, when you first started leaving the house, mingling, talking to people, those standards should have been something you were practicing and living up to, not after you have the child. And that's what they don't want to actually accept that you messed up a long time ago way before you met that man let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye